this video is on screen scraping. Um, the whole point of screen scraping is to have automation do all the work for you. In this scenario, we're going to have the automated program to open up Chrome, uh, open up YouTube, type in after all Python graph here in the search button or bar, click on the search button, and then click on the, the graph itself to, to start the video. But before we do that, what you need to do is you need to take screenshots of every part of the screen that you want um, Python to do the work for you. So in this example, I have a screenshot of the search bar, a screenshot of the search button, and a screenshot of the Python graph image. So once we have all the images, we can go ahead and start programming this stuff. Um, so what we need is we need to import the web browser. The web, web, web browser is just a library that opens up the um, browser. Then we need to import the time. In this case, or probably in many cases, you need to give it time for the program to load. So in this case, I need the web browser to completely load first before I move on to the next step. Then we have the main library, which is Pi Auto GUI. That is going to do all the work for us. So our first line here is webbrowser.open. It's going to open up the um, URL YouTube. Then we're going to print for, we're going to, I'm going to add a whole bunch of print line here just so that we can track what's going on. So we're going to print waiting for six seconds for YouTube to open. Then we're going to sleep for six seconds. Then we're going to click the search bar. So we have PyAutoGUI.locate on screen. What that means is it's going to locate this search bar image on this screen, somewhere on the screen. You can also use locate center on screen. But an example, we will use locate on screen. And I'm assigning it to the variable called step one. Then using the pyautogui.click, I am going to click on the search bar. Then I'm going to type. Then we're going to see typing. Um, then we're going to use pyautogui.typewrite. And it's going to write out the word after all Python on the search bar for us. Then we're going to go sleep for three seconds. We're going to wait for three seconds pretty much. Um, so that it could have its time to, to type the stuff out. Then we're going to display clicking on search button. Then step number two, we're going to do it all over again. Uh, Pi auto GUI dot locate center on screen this time, uh, just so we can switch it up here. We're now going to find or locate the search button on the screen. Once we search that location, we're going to assign it to step two. Step two is going to be clicked by the Pi Auto GUI. Then it's going to go sleep for three seconds. Then we're just going to print out, clicking on Python graph image. Then step three, we're going to do the same. We're going to locate center on screen of our uh, screen here. And keep in mind, your screen is going to be your main or primary screen. So you have two monitors, it's always going to go after the main monitor. So in this case, we're going to locate the Python graph, and then we're going to click on it. So let's give this thing a try. I am now going to close out of the browser, and then click on Run, Module 5, F5. OK, so wait for six seconds. Open up YouTube. Then it clicks on the search bar, types in after all, clicks on the search button, and then clicks on the Python graph image. And then here, the website opens up. So there are a lot of usage for using Pi Auto GUI. Uh, just gotta be creative. You can use it to um, use it on video games. If you need to do a lot of clicking, you can do it you know, for work, if you need to automate your work. So the uh, options are endless. So. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe.